I'm Joe McDermott, West Seattleite, and Chair of the King County Council. It's my privilege today to be able to introduce the County Executive and the new Mayor of Seattle as we begin a new chapter in our city's history. I know that Mayor Durkin is the right person at the right time, especially to listen to the voices of people across our entire city, including our voices in West Seattle. That's especially true as Seattle faces an affordability crisis. Too many families, many of whom have called Seattle home for generations, are being forced out. Too many are facing skyrocketing rents that are forcing them to choose between housing, food, health care, education, and other basic necessities. Too many Seattleites are experiencing homelessness. During her campaign, Mayor Durkin made tackling this affordability crisis a top priority. She reminded us that we can't wait to act on affordability, and she isn't wasting any time. It really is an honor to be here today as our new mayor takes action to make our city more affordable, more inclusive, and more united. Please join me in welcoming fellow West Seattleite and King County Executive Dow Constantine and our new mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin. <laughs> It is too long. That's right. 
Um, she had, she quoted when she came in to say that her job was to build Seattle into a larger home. And I think that rings true today. We want to build Seattle into a place where everyone has a home, where everyone has a place. Over the, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Look, we are a vibrant, innovative, forward-looking city. We have great opportunities, but at the same time, too many people in our city are feeling really pain. Too many people have been priced or pushed out of this yeah. city. We are seeing a city that we are literally rebuilding today. When we rebuild it, let's rebuild it into that inclusive, vibrant city that stands for those progressive values we all believe in. Now, there's the problems is growth in many ways. It outstripped our resources and our infrastructure. We've seen it in transportation. We've seen it in housing. We've seen it throughout our city. There's no easy solutions, and I will not pretend they were. If there were easy solutions, I'm not sure they would have elected a woman mayor. <laughs> but our city has an indomitable spirit. We have always come back, and we have always reinvented the future. We will continue to do that. We are a city that not just survived a great fire, we rebuilt into a better city. We were the jumping off point for the gold rush. And sorry, El Gore, you may have invented the internet, but we put it to work. <laughs> we pretty much invented or reinvented air travel. First it was the airplanes, then it was how to book them online. We invented customer service, just ask Nordstrom's. Coffee, software, personal computers, online shopping, you name it. Yes, even the $4.99 roast chicken, right here in Seattle. <laughs> but we have to invent a new future. We have to look at that horizon and think, what kind of city do we want to be? Those decisions we're making today will mold what kind of city we are tomorrow. Our mission is clear. We have to be that city where everyone has a home, just like Mayor Landis said. So while I will travel many parts of the city today, I want everyone to remember, from my first day, I believe there is only one Seattle. There are many neighborhoods that have very different feels to them, different backgrounds, different people living there, but we are all neighbors. And while we have disagreements sometimes, that happens sometimes in Seattle. Ooh, and that's fun. <laughs> we have to remember our common bonds and our common purpose will always be stronger than our differences or our challenges. We can rebuild Seattle to be that city of the future that we all want for the next generation. So together, we're going to tackle issues like affordability. We will try to find homes for all the homeless who are experiencing such sad plights on our streets and tents and in vehicles. And we will ensure that we restore that bond of trust between the police department and the people it serves. We will make sure that we deliver those basic services that everyone demands of their government. During this campaign, I told you in my first days, I would attack the issues of affordability, including the hard work of making the promise, the promise of America real. One of those is extending the 13th year college scholarship program to include two years of college for every graduate of Seattle Public School. I will be after this signing the executive order that puts the framework in pace that starts putting that program together so we can be delivering it as quickly as possible to the families and kids who need that opportunity. Now, it's a first step, but it's not a lost step. We have to take work together to tackle this on many, many fronts. As I said, there are no easy solutions. Many of the challenges we're facing were years in the making. We are the microwave generation, but a lot of this is going to take some slow baking from all of us. We will have to be working together. And the challenges to Seattle don't just come from inside our city. 
There will be times when we in Seattle and we in the county will have to stand up to our president, Mr. Trump. Thank you. 